All right, quick video on the progress. Um, let me make one change here real fast. Cool. Um, so inventory, um, still need a two all skills any. I have the money for it, just being lazy. Um, I don't know why I'm running this at this point. Need to update it. Same crappy torch, straight P combats, magic fine charms and some life. Uh, need need a better uh, corrupt here. I like this corrupt here. I need to corrupt these, but I break the last pair. Uh, I've got a stone of Jordan, but it's just gold fine. Would love to get magic fine or something there. This is cool, but again, don't really need it. If you're not familiar with the setup, and then I did get the three socketed shield. So the one option I have here is I could put a cham somewhere in this, get rid of these. I don't know for what, uh, but could do it. Also have a CTA now, 463 with three holy shield, which does me no good because plus one, plus one, plus one, and plus one. Um, so even if I got a three skill lidless, it would just put me to the point of where I'm at. So that gets into the damage. So if I go and do BO um, and I got the two, two um, skills that I could get possibly with the two skill Annie and the BC, then I would up this damage a little bit, but I did just want to share. Uh, the point of this is to show what I could do on single player. So I built out essentially the same build on single player. So you'll see real fast two skills and you'll see quickly where we're going here really nice torch obviously because you know it's single player and you just generate this stuff in uh, this is from the item pack and then i just you know grab these and slam them so you will see here that's magic fawn magic fawn uh, this is the exact same setup but this has facets and to get into that let's look at our damage real fast you see a lot less skills but you'll notice the damage is a good bit more so, and this is basically the exact same when I'm running. The mercenary has sanctuary. Again, I don't really see the point in it, but she has it um, just because I didn't know what to throw on her. So I'll just run a quick, oh, I'm not actually in the mode here that I can do it. Uh, we'll run this real fast. I'm not even going to slam it. And show you guys real quickly here what this build could do. So, again, this gets back to, like, I don't really see it being a big advantage. Um, the facets here are nice because you get a lot more lightning damage. Obviously, the large charms are nice because you're getting more damage, but you're still not one-shotting things. Uh, this is just a T2 map, just to kind of show you guys. You can't really play a lot faster, um, so it's still slow. Um, some people are like, Holy Nova, and it's like, Holy Nova doesn't do enough damage to me. Um, or it doesn't hit enough things, and the cooldown is so long. Um, so you'll see here again, like this is with a level 20 sanctuary orb because it's single player. We're gonna get the best that we possibly could, and I still just don't see the point. The proc build would probably be interesting with this, um, and just going very heavy on the uh, large charms and the magic damage. But that's mainly because how fast you can cast, um, since it's on striking with the uh, asylum, and it's 25%, and you know. Then, then we're getting into some more fun. Um, but I just, I can't, I don't, I don't see great damage here. Right? And this is a pretty juice map. I mean, don't get me wrong. Just grab whatever was in here. We can go back and look and make sure they don't have, you know, magic uh, absorb on it. But I'm just not overly impressed. And so that's why I kind of say, like, the last build is as far as it make, makes sense to go that far. Um, the only other option here, and I can't see it because again I'm, I'm not in the right mode is you could go with the um i'm trying to think of the, the way to put this nicely so you could do the hozo but instead of doing open sockets on it i would really go for plus one skills and do the same kind of thing here and use um it's like blessed light or something i forget the weapon um that would bump the damage a little bit more maybe you're getting close but again you're spending so much money at that point and this build really just is not where I'd want to spend my money. Um, you're going to get less Holy Shield, obviously, with the less plus skill. So you're going to get a little less tankier. It, it's fine, but I, I just can't see going past uh, the earlier video unless you just want to.